these two psalms. Psalm. Psalm 109, Psalm 106, I beg your pardon. Psalm 106 and verse 10. Psalm 106, verse 10. Psalm 106, verse 10. He saved them from the hand of him who hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. The waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Then they believed his words. They sang his praise. But they soon forgot his works. And they did not wait for his counsel. But lusted exceedingly in the wilderness. And tested God in the desert. And he gave them their requests. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. He gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. Would you help your neighbor to understand what the Bible says? Just look at your neighbor and says he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. I want to talk about leanness of the soul tonight. Would you say those words after me, please? Leanness <clears throat> of the soul. There are those who would proclaim that man is no different from any other form of animal life except for his superior intelligence. They hold that man can be defined totally in physical terms. That man can be sustained totally by physical factors. And this is the practical or philosophic view of many people who live on the earth today. They've made abundant provisions for the physical, material aspect of their existence. They're focused on the things of the earth and making sure that they have as much of the earth's wealth available to them as is possible. And there's nothing inherently wrong with having the things of the earth. But the Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Other earthly occupants, other lower forms of animal life can be sustained by physical provision. But man cannot be sustained by physical provisions alone. Man needs more than bread, more than water, more than shelter, more than comfort, more than luxury. And it is only as we understand this fact that we are ready to experience life to the fullest. Man is both physical and spiritual. And there is that within man which corresponds to and images and responds to God. There is that within man which feels responsible to God and reflects the moral nature of God by thinking in terms of good and bad, right and wrong. There is that in man which hungers for 
and reaches out for fellowship with God. There is that in man which transcends, stands above the physical man that we see. And that stands above even life and death and reaches into eternity and worlds beyond that we cannot see or even touch. We will call this capacity man's soul, a man's spiritual nature. And though the human inclination is in the very opposite direction, I would assert and the Bible asserts that priority, a first preference, ought always be given to the spiritual above the physical. Somebody ought to help me preach tonight. The spiritual is more important than the physical. This is the case because, number one, there is a God who relates to us by means of the spiritual. The physical man, the natural man, cannot understand the things of God because they are spiritual. If you praise him, he'll bring you out. If you praise him, he'll take you higher. God will bless you if you praise him. If you glorify him, don't stand around begging. Don't stand around singing the blues. Tell the Lord any way you bless me, it's all right with me. You remember that Shunammite woman whose son had sickened and her son had died. And the prophet sent the messenger. And the messenger said, woman, is everything all right? The woman said, it is well. Well, you look at your name and say, it is well. Trouble may be at home, but it is well. You may have a foreclosure notice waiting on you when you get home, but it is well. You might have a pink slip and get fired from your job, but it is well because the Lord is working it out for you. All things are working together for your good and so the songwriter said when peace like a river attendeth my way when sorrows like sea pillars roll whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say it is well oh it is well it is well with my soul tell somebody it's well it's all right i wish i had some hallelujah anyhow folk in the house are there any hallelujah anyhow people in the room hallelujah anyhow when misfortune comes your way lift your hand to God and say hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah anyhow Hallelujah, God is good. Hallelujah, he's going to bring me through. Hallelujah, he's going to bring me out. Hallelujah, it ain't over yet. Hallelujah, I'm going higher. Higher. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, when you look for me again, you better look up because I'm going higher. a big church don't want to have a big jurisdiction and have a lean soul don't want to be Vogue and Esquire and alligator shoes and have a lean soul don't want to have a pocket full of money and a soul empty of God Lord whatever you do for me don't take your spirit don't take your anointing don't take your power 
away from me. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done. But, Lord, I just want to know you. I just want to walk with you. I just want to have your anointing on my life. Lift your hand and say, Lord, don't take your spirit away from me. Lord.